Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just stepped in on FBI's Kavanaugh investigation. He's putting his foot down hard. President Trump has chimed in several times with his opinion on the Judge Kavanaugh nomination process controversy. After the hearings, he praised Judge Kavanaugh for his heated and impassioned response. Now, he has stepped into the investigation in a different way. As of now, the FBI has not received any new instructions from officials at the White House regarding how to proceed with their week-long investigation into Judge Kavanaugh and the Dr. Christine Blasey Ford sexual assault allegations. Anonymous sources within the White House have said that after the Saturday night tweet from the president his stance has remained the same. He is fine with the FBI investigating whomever they feel is appropriate. Right now this does not include Julie Swetnick who is the most recent sexual assault accuser against Judge Kavanaugh. NBC News reported. Also not on the list, the sources say, are former classmates who have contradicted Kavanaugh's account of his college alcohol consumption, instead describing him as a frequent, heavy drinker. The FBI is also not authorized to interview high school classmates who could shed light on what some people have called untruths in Kavanaugh's Senate Judiciary Committee testimony about alleged sexual references in his high school yearbook. The sources said nothing would preclude the FBI from asking Kavanaugh's high school friend Mark Judge, who is on the witness list, about Swetnick's allegations, but the sources stress that this is not a top priority. Separately, a White House official made clear that the White House is the client in this process. This is not an FBI criminal investigation, it is a background investigation in which the FBI is acting on behalf of the White House. Procedurally, the White House does not allow the FBI to investigate as it sees fit, the official acknowledged, the White House sets the parameters. Trump announced on Twitter late Saturday that the White House had placed no limitation on the FBI's ability to investigate the allegations against Kavanaugh. I want them to interview whoever they deem appropriate, at their discretion. Trump tweeted in response to an NBC News report citing multiple people familiar with the process who said the White House was limiting the scope of the reopened background investigation of Kavanaugh. While the FBI will examine the allegations of Christine Blasey Ford and Deborah Ramirez, the Bureau had not been permitted to investigate the claims of Julie Swetnick, who has accused Kavanaugh of engaging in sexual misconduct at parties while he was a student at Georgetown Preparatory School in the 1980s, those people familiar with the investigation told NBC News. A White House official had confirmed earlier Saturday that Swetnick's claims would not be pursued as part of the reopened background investigation into Kavanaugh. Trump described that as incorrect in a tweet late Saturday. The Wall Street Journal had also reported that Swetnick's allegations would not be investigated. Trump said the FBI had free reign in the investigation. They're going to do whatever they have to do, he said. Whatever it is they do, they'll be doing, things that we never even thought of. And hopefully at the conclusion everything will be fine. The New York Times reported Saturday night, after Trump's tweet, that the White House has authorized the FBI to interview four witnesses, Judge, Leland Kaiser, a high school friend of Ford's whom she said attended the party but was not told of the assault, P.J. Smith, another party guest, and Ramirez, the Yale accuser. Ford said in Senate testimony Thursday that she was 100 percent certain that Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were both in high school. Ramirez alleged that he exposed himself to her when there were students at Yale. Kavanaugh has staunchly denied allegations from Ford, Ramirez, and Swetnick. Instead of investigating Swetnick's claims, the White House Counsel's Office has given the FBI a list of witnesses they are permitted to interview, according to several people who discuss the parameters on the condition of anonymity. They characterize the White House instructions as a significant constraint on the FBI investigation and caution that such a limited scope while not unusual in normal circumstances, may make it difficult to pursue additional leads in a case in which a Supreme Court nominee has been accused of sexual assault. The limited scope seems to be at odds with what some members of the Senate judiciary seemed to expect when they agreed to give the FBI as much as a week to investigate allegations against Kavanaugh, a federal judge who grew up in the Washington, D.C. area and attended an elite all-boys high school before going on to Yale. President Donald Trump said on Saturday that the FBI has free reign in the investigation. They're going to do whatever they have to do, he said. Whatever it is they do, they'll be doing, things that we never even thought of. And hopefully at the conclusion everything will be fine. The president also said he thinks Flake's role in delaying the vote is fine. Actually this could be a blessing in disguise, Trump continued. Because having the FBI go out, do a thorough investigation, whether it's three days or seven days. I think it's going to be less than a week. But having them do a thorough investigation, 
I actually think will be a blessing in disguise. It'll be a good thing. I don't need a backup plan, Trump said, adding that he thinks Kavanaugh is going to be fine. Senator Chris Coons, D. Dell, said Saturday that he supports the week-long scope of the investigation. The FBI works at the direction of the White House in investigating the background of an administration nominee like Judge Kavanaugh, he told MSNBC's Chris Hayes at Global Citizen Festival in New York. So it's the White House counsel or the president who says, this is the scope of the further investigation. Senator Jeff Flake who is from Arizona, and a well-known flip voter, came in at the 11th hour and indicates that he wanted an FBI investigation completed before a vote takes place on the Senate floor. His Democratic colleague Senator Whitehouse indicated he wanted an investigation to include adequate staffing as well as rapid immunity and subpoena decisions. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.